So I ordered me a couple of metal chicken feeders on eBay because well, I needed more chicken feeders. And come to find out, they call them vintage chicken feeders. And so I thought, wow, I didn't know they were vintage. I mean, they've been around since I was a kid. I'm, I'm 60, so all this stuff is like, you know, stuff I'm used to. Anyway, so I thought, well, you know, they're vintage and they're worth so much money. And, and I do have a problem with the galvanized ones rotting out. I decided I'd just make my own. <clears throat> and actually, these are going to be better than I can buy because the metal ones keep rotting out on me. And so I'm going to take all my metal vintage chicken feeders out and replace them with these wooden ones. And you can see I made one there super long. And then one right here just takes a few two by fours and, you know, a little ingenuity and boom, you got your chicken feeder. And so that's what I'm using now. Uh, you know, I, I started making a video yesterday and I didn't finish. And I thought, you know, now would probably be a good time to go ahead and, and uh, say something that's kind of been on my mind. I was talking about how that uh, I YouTube because I like, I generally like people. And it, it hasn't always been so. Uh, when I was about 24, I actually said a prayer to God to help me like people. I mean, I just generally didn't feel like I needed them in my life. And so, I said that prayer very often because I just wanted to have that compassion and that feeling toward people. Well, God answered that prayer. Not only do I have a passion for people, I'd go literally go out of my way for them. It's a really good feeling to have that love for people. So if you have that problem of having a, a love for people, and you remember Jesus when he was with the people and he seen the masses, he felt pity for them. Because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And you know, remember, Satan said that man would give up everything he has to save his own soul. And as a whole, that's proved to be true in this world. But there is a select few. And you know, when I say select few, the scriptures talk about that there would be those that uh, get on the narrow path. And those are the... The narrow path is the ones that those lovers of people and people that feel like they owe God their allegiance. Those are the people that's going to be on that narrow path. So, you know, I just wanted to straighten that out and uh, just let, let everybody know that if you have a problem with that in your life just ask God because it's such a beautiful thing to have that huge love of people anyways I'm going to cut this off for now I got to go feed the chickens with their new chicken feeders see how they like it Actually, um, these feeders that I'm making too is, um, <clears throat> well, it's, I need more space. Um, you know, I told you the way that I break my younger chickens in, I just lift the lid to the cage, from the cages, and they can come and go as they please. And then I take and I'll feed them and water them a few days in that pen when the lid's up because... They're kind of afraid to get out. But after a few days, I, I wean them off of that. And then they start getting with the um, regular flock. And there's never a fuss. I've never had a chicken get injured. 
from introducing a new chicken uh, to the flock. So I do uh, I do feed them in a lot of places because of the pecking order. Um, the new chickens, you know, until they get used to the older chickens and the older chickens get used to them, you know, they got to accept the pecking order the way it is. So I do have plenty of places for them to eat. That's why that I feed them in so different, so many different spots. Well, it didn't look like the chickens had a problem with the feeders either. So I think that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to make those wooden feeders, and I think it'll be a lot better. And I thought it'd be a good thing to sign off to show this beautiful little child on this mower. And uh, y'all have a great day. Thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe.